Alright guys, this is going to be a long one, so I hope you have some tea or coffee or a snack because we are decluttering my lip products. I know this is the hardest category for me because I accumulate so much from work, and so I just have a ton. I have a lot. I purchased a lot, and so I just need to downsize because there's just too much going on. So, Alright, so let's start with liquid lipsticks. I have definitely accumulated way too many. I went a little bonkers when Sephora launched their new shades of their lip stains. And so I have a lot and I don't know if I'm going to get rid of much because they're still new to me. And yeah, let's just see what happens. I know I know I'm keeping Always Red. It is my favorite red in my collection, so that is a must. I know I'm keeping this one here. This is one of the new ones in Chai Latte, and it's just a really awesome, just brown nude. Strawberry Kiss, again, is one of my favorites. It's more of that pinky red. I have this in a Project Pan. This is in Blush Copper, I believe. It's just a pinky nude. Let's move these closer. I think I am going to get rid of this one here. This is in Peach Tart. It makes me look ill when I wear it. I think I'm also going to get rid of this pink one here. This is in, in Whipped Blush, and it's a little bit patchy. I don't know if it's because it's in a small travel size one, um, but it just doesn't work for me, so I'm just going to pass that one along too. I have another orange in my collection that's a lipstick that I love a little bit more than this one here. This is in Mandarin Muse, and it's beautiful. I just know I have one other from a different brand that works for me, so I'm just going to get rid of this guy. And then these three are, are also really new. I don't know the names of them. One is this one. And I've been getting so many compliments in videos of me wearing a orangey red. And that, that's this one here. So in case you're wondering, it is in the shade number 25. So of all the recent videos and me wearing that lip, it's this one. I have these two that, again, I'm keeping. I knew this was going to be a hard one for me because they are all really new. But there's a brown and then this awesome teal. And then these three I'm also keeping. So I did not do very well, but I have the Smashbox in On Demand, and then I have the Smashbox in Driver's Seat. So those are a beautiful formula. And then this is the new one from Tarte. This is the birthday one that I got, and I want to try it out. So all of these are everything liquid. So there are some lip oils, there's one lip gloss, and then these ones here are lip glosses, but they kind of are hybrids because they're like stains and more pigmented than a typical lip gloss. So one I know I'm keeping is my Marc Jacobs Lip Lacquer in Love Buzz. It's a beautiful pink. It's the only true lip gloss in my collection, so I will keep this. I will also be keeping this Juicy Shaker from Lancome in Piece of Cake. It is beautiful. I love the Juicy Shakers. And then I have this one here. This one is in Berry Tail. I will keep this one as well. I use those ones all the time. I also will be keeping my YSL Tintin Oil in number 5. It's beautiful. I wear it all the time as well. And it just stains your lips to a really pouty pink, and I love that. One I think I'm going to get rid of, and you guys are going to be like, what, you're insane, is this YSL one. I want to like it, and I want to like it because of the brand, but it just, it doesn't work for me. It's very, very tacky on the lips. It's one of their Vinyl Lip Coutures, which is their new line, and I got it through work, which I'm so happy to have tried it, but it just doesn't work for me. It moves all around throughout the day. It's not a trusted lipstick because I feel like I look like a crazy person when I'm wearing it because it just like moves and it just doesn't sit right and it's sticky and it gets in my hair and I just I just don't love it and I wish I did but this is going away. I think I'm also going to get rid of all three of these ones here. So these are other lip oils but I don't love them because I feel like they make my lips feel more dry than they were at the beginning. So we have a Moisture Lock from Milani. I wished it was similar to the YSL one but it really is a bit more drying than the YSL one. And then these ones here are just really just oily on the lips. And this they just don't sit right. And again, they make my lips feel dry at the end of the day. So I will keep the oils that work for me. And these ones I will pass off. So this is the new NARS Lip Glide. I will keep it. It's in a nice pretty red. It was beautiful during the holiday. So I will keep that one. And then this Acro Lip from... Makeup Forever I'm still thinking about and making an opinion, but I do like it, so I will keep it for now. These are all lip balms, and I'm not a huge lip balm person. Oh, I forgot one. This one, too. I'll put it at the end. 
Um, and I'm not a lip balm person, so I, I only want to keep a few of these because it's just crazy how many I have. So one I am going to get rid of is the oldest in my collection. That's this Cary Gran Lip Whip, and it's beautiful. It feels delicious. I have used it a ton. I'll show you. So I have used it quite a bit. It's actually almost at the bottom. And it's a really pretty pink. It has a minty flavor to it and scent. And it's just older, so I'm just going to take this out of my collection and probably throw it away. It does have an expiration date of 2018. But honestly, I, something that I constantly dip my finger in, I'm just a little weird about. So I'm just going to pass that off. I will be keeping this one here. I just got it yesterday in gratis. So this is the Bite Agave lip mask, but it's the solid version, and I love it way more than the um, other version, which is this one here, but I will keep both because I can see myself using these ones up. I am going to pass off this one here. This I got in a subscription box. It says Crazy Rumors. It's a peppermint one, and I don't like that tingliness on my lips, so I'm just going to get rid of this one. I will be keeping this here. This is the Line and Prime from Bite Beauty, and it's really good for just lining around your lips. If you're wearing a liquid lip and you don't want it to bleed, this one works really well. I just got this one for Christmas from Dave, the Burt's Beaks Coconut and Pear, and I will keep it and try it out because I haven't yet. These ones here I will give to Dave. I got these in a subscription box. They're just like a minty lip balm, and he likes this type of thing, so these will go to him. And then the last one here, I like using this one before bed. This is the Avalon Organics Vitamin C, and it smells amazing, like oranges, and it's really soothing, and it's really hydrating, so I will keep that one. So these are all of my lip liners, and I'm just not a lip liner person. I keep buying them, and then I never use them because I'd rather just wear something that is easy and will just stay all day without having to apply a lip liner, so I never have the need for it. Two I will be keeping because they are in Project Pans. I have this Urban Decay 24 Hour in uh, Naked, and so I will keep this one. It's just a nudie color. And then I will keep this one here. This is one of the lip liners to go from Sephora number 15, I believe. Another nude, so I can see myself using this one. And then these ones here. I always want to use the red because I'm like, ooh, a red liner, I probably should have one. But the reds that I own as lipsticks work well without one. So I'm just going to get rid of the red. And then this Milani one, I've only used a few times, and it's a bit smeary. It's not as stay-proof as I want it to be. So I'm just going to get rid of this one. And then this one I've had for over a year now. It's still in the packaging. So I'm just going to pass this off because I obviously am never going to use it. Okay, so these are some lipsticks and I'm doing this by shade because I obviously have way too much of some shades and so these are all reds which is why I put these here too because it's kind of making me double it's making me think whether or not to keep all of them because I don't need seven reds in my collection when I don't wear all that often I, I do wear it a lot during the holidays and I wear it a lot near Valentine's Day, but really I don't need seven. I'm never going to go through seven, so we are going to try to narrow it down to, I want to say, ooh, I don't know, because I, it's hard for me to say no to some of these because I love the formula, but let's just see. Um, the ones that I wore during the holidays was these two here, the Sephora Always Red, and then the NARS Lip Glide I wore a ton during the holidays. I wore this Dior one quite often. So these three are going over here because those are the ones that I did wear. Now, this one here, the Strawberry Kiss, it makes me think about it because I do get a lot of compliments when I wear it. But if I was to rush out the door and grab one red lipstick, it'd be Sephora's Always Red. So I think that is why I'm getting rid of this one. Now these ones over here, this one I was hoping to use during the holidays because I love the formula. These are the e.l.f. matte lip colors, but I didn't. I didn't touch it at all. It's still brand new, and so I'm going to pass that off. And these ones here, this one is brand new to me. I got it in a set, and this one's a bit different. It's more of a cranberry red. And then this one in gazpacho is another red. I love these formulas, so it's hard for me to say which one I'm getting rid of. Okay, so these are all of them swatched, and obviously I don't need 
all five. So this one here is like the truest of reds, and that's the Sephora Always Red. I'm definitely keeping this one. And then this one here is more of an orangey red. That is from Dior. And part of me really wants to keep it because it's Dior, but it's very similar to this one here, which I've been wearing so often and I get so many compliments on. So I think I am going to get rid of the Dior. No. So I think I'm going to get it. I think I am going to say goodbye to this NARS one because it is glossy. I don't know if you can see how shiny is this one here. It's super glossy and it's comfortable. But if I, again, was running out the door, I would grab the Sephora one first. So I'm going to pass this one off while it's still really good condition. Now again, one of these was a different shade. I think it was this one, which is more of a, that's this one here, more of a cranberry red. So I think I will keep this one because it's still new to me and it's a beautiful shade and I love the formula. So we'll get, keep this one. I know I'm keeping the Sephora one and so now I'm down to these two here. Um... This beetroot one is very similar to the Sephora Collection shade, and it's so small. So I think I'm get, gonna get rid of this gazpacho. I'll keep these three. So that's good, going from seven to three, I feel a lot more comfortable, and they are all different reds. So I have a true red, an orangey red, and then more of a cranberry red. So that makes me feel really happy with that decision. So these are all oranges or peaches, and so we will go through these. So, so this is the lipstick I was talking about when I was deciding about the Mandarin Muse from Sephora Collection. I had an other orange, and that's this one here. It is beautiful. I love wearing it. It's comfortable. It's from the Estee Edit line in the shade number 10 Killing It, and it's just really comfortable. I get so many compliments when I wear this orange and so I will keep this guy. Okay and this one I just got it's actually a, a cheap product and I forgot about it when I was doing my my blush collection so I will keep this one as well it's really new to me and then this one here is more of a muted peach and it's just a really comfortable this is from Kate which is a Japanese brand and I will keep this one as well. So these are more nudes, and again, I brought some of the liquid lipsticks back in so we could see if I had similar shades in the lipstick form, because um, I don't want to keep a ton of these. Nudes for me are pretty popular, as they are for a lot of people, because they're so wearable, so it's hard for me to get rid of them. But there's no need for me to keep one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine nudes. Um, so yeah, let's just see. I know some of these are just like, such great formula, so it's hard for me to say no to. So one I know that I will get rid of is this one here from Bare Minerals. And I keep saying I'm going to keep it because it's a beautiful shade. It's just a everyday, again, just a nude. And this is in the shade Mantra or Mantra. And I want to love it and I want to pick it up, but I always pick up something else. So I'm going to just say goodbye to this one. This one here from Too Faced I love. This is in Spice Spice Baby. It's just a really just comfortable nude. So I will keep this one for now. So I'm going to put this over on the side so we know the ones that I'm considering. Um, this one from e.l.f. Again, these e.l.f. lip colors, like it's brand new. I haven't even swatched it yet. Oh, it's so creamy. And it's more of a pinky nude. And then this one I just got, and I love it. This is one of the Burt's Bees. And this is in 501. Oh my god, these are, these two are almost identical. And then this one is from Laura Mercier. I got this one for work. It's more of a deeper rose. And then I will swatch all these as well so you guys can see them. So here are all of them swatched and you can see they are all are pretty different. One I think I'm going to get rid of is this Laura Mercier one. It's one that is a bit deeper in a rosy shade and I just never pick it up so I'm going to pass that off. This one here is relatively new and again this is more of a cheap product so I will keep this one. This one I'm definitely keeping. I've just been loving it so much. This is the new one in Chai Latte. And then the Smashbox one I love as well. So now we are down to these four. I'm just never reaching for. Obviously it's still, I just watched it the first time. So I'm just going to pass that off while it's still really new. And then these three here. This one I don't see myself picking up all that often because it's so small. I know that's kind of just like 
I don't know, vein, but I'm never going to use it. And I just got it in my birthday gift from Sephora. I'm just going to pass it along while it's still new. I'm still loving the blush that I got for it, my birthday gift, so I will get rid of this guy. And then these two here, I know they're almost identical. I wear both of them, so I just don't see me getting rid of one when I could probably finish both of these, so I'm going to keep them. Alright, and this, this is everything else. There's just miscellaneous colors that I didn't have a full category of. So, we're going to go through these. So, these two, I think I'm going to get rid of both. I love Big Bang. I just never wear it. And I am out of the phase of wearing super bright lips. It's really, really fun. But other than at work, I have no need to wear this. So, I'm going to pass that off. This one is in Conspiracy, and that is a brown, and I'd much rather wear this one here, which stays a little bit better. This is the Sephora Collection one, so I'm going to get rid of Conspiracy. And then this one here is the only, like, vampy color that I have. It's wearable enough because I'm super fair-skinned, but it's not so vampy that I can't wear it. So I'm going to keep this because I don't have anything else like it. This one here, I think I'm going to get rid of this bite one. It's just too crazy for me, and I just don't wear it. I got it as gratis, and I just don't need this type of thing in my collection. And then, let's see. I'm just going to swatch them, because I know they are both different. That's a really fun cranberry. And then this one is more of a matte finish, I believe. Oh, I love that one so much. They're almost identical, so I'm going to keep the Burt's Bees, just because I like how creamy it is. I'm going to get rid of the Elf one. So after going through everything again, I've realized I really do want to keep Strawberry Kiss. I wear it a lot, so it just just because I have a lot of reds, I still want to keep it. I love this one, so I am going to get rid of the Dior. I tried it on. I remember that it does have a smell to it that I'm not a huge fan of, and this is the one I was iffy on, so I will get rid of the Dior. I know these ones... These two here were really hard for me to part with because of the brand name, and so I can't use that as an excuse to keep it because I'm just not using this one, and I have other things that I like a little bit more. So I'm going to get rid of the Dior, I'm going to keep the Sephora Strawberry Kiss, and I will be getting rid of these two too. Um, the Too Faced, again, it's because of the brand name. I love this formula of lipstick. But I have other things that work just as well in my collection, and I don't need that many. And then this Kate one, which is the light peach, I tried it on, and it does look a little weird on me, so I'm going to pass that one off too. So in total, I'm keeping five lipsticks, nine liquid lipsticks, and then a lip stain, two lip liners, three lip oils, one lip gloss, and five lip balms. I'm also keeping both of these Lip and Cheek products from Milk. I'm getting rid of 11 lipsticks, 4 lip balms, 3 lip oils, 4 liquid lipsticks, 3 lip glosses slash lip stains, and 3 lip liners. So in total I'm keeping 28 lip products and I'm getting rid of exactly 28 lip products. So I am cutting my lip collection in half, which is amazing. And I'm really proud of myself because I didn't let brand names make me keep them. So um, especially like Dior and Too Faced, those are ones that I'm really proud of that I am getting rid of. And so I'm really happy with this declutter. I think that was pretty successful. Um, make sure to stick around for more decluttering's and I'll link other ones down below if you want to see more of my decluttering. So I hope you have a great day and I will see you guys really soon. Bye!